Hey, this is TC Steel, State Historic Site. I want to say thank you to David and I want to say thank you to Tammy. Uh, just excellent, good people that I just met here and they gave me a whole lot of information on this place. So this is the original house of artist TC Steel. His wife was a master gardener. And head south towards so, TC Steel Road, then so sharp weird. left onto TC Steel Road. Just so embarrassing. I'm gonna have to cut that. Okay. This is the homestead of TC Steel. His wife was a master gardener, and they created this place. Now, recently, it has been updated. It's a historic site here in Browns County, in Indiana, and there's going to be this. They're buried on site. Their cabin is here, and the Ben, <clears throat> sorry, David and Tammy, who I just spoke to, they explained to me that they came here about 40 years ago, and they randomly found this place, and they described and spoke to the, they talked to someone who was here who, who sat them down and spoke to them and told them all the history of this place and who T.C. Steele was as an artist and who his wife was, that they're buried on site. And it's almost like a giant circle that here he is 15 years later doing the same thing with me. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the human tradition of passing knowledge forward can be appreciated. Now this historic site has been upgraded. Uh, recently, a well-to-do couple bequeathed their and their entire net to this place to build this visiting center, the Singing Winds Visiting Center. And so this place has had quite a substantial upgrade in terms of how it looked back in the day and how it looks now. Woo. So the Singing Winds it's closed right now, so we'll just have to take a, a look at the grounds. So in a lot of ways, this is a private tour of TC Steel historical site. And that's kind of cool. This is the La Casita. staff only such an interesting little house this is the little studio that TC Steele would do his paintings in Very beautiful. Chairs. Look at that little lookout. Let's check out that little lookout at the TC Steel historic site. This doesn't seem very sturdy. But it is. But it is. To a people, these sanctuaries of the spirit are necessary for sanity and growth, and I use the word sanctuary advisedly, for they are places for only recreation and enjoyment, but inspiration, T.C. Steele, with a British accent. Look at this sweet, sweet barn. A big thank you guys. David, Tammy, you made this experience so much better. So let me continue this little history tour. So, T.C. Steele and his wife are both buried here on the property. They donated this property and it has been here for many, many years and been getting upgraded throughout the years. This is his large studio.
Wow, it's a beautiful barn studio he has. Oh, is this his house? I think this is the house of T.C. Steele. What a cute little spot. So here we are, this is the view that T.C. Steele would see every morning. That is his large studio right there. It's beautiful with the large windows. Here in Brown County, Indiana. What a gorgeous yard. And then that must be her garden, his wife's garden. This is the backyard of T.C. Steele's home. What an amazing backyard. So now we're making our way down to the lower gardens. This shaped up to be way bigger than just the historical landmark off the type of side of the road. This ended up being a full blown adventure. This is definitely for cars. Steel Home Gardens for TC Steel. Known widely. Continued from the other side. Theodore Clemente Steele lived and painted on property here. 1907 to 1926, he and his wife Selma established House of the Singing Winds, a red barn-like studio in Hillside Garden. As the leading member of the Hoosier group of Indiana painters, Steele's impressionistic landscape paintings captured the natural beauty of the region. Known widely as the Dean of Indiana Painters, Steele was elected to prestigious National Academy of Design in New York City. 1913, Indiana University President William L. Bryan named him Honorary Professor of Painting. 1922, he worked in IU Campus Studio until his tragic death in 1926. The Steeles are buried on this 211-acre site which Selma deeded to the state in 1945. The entrance to T.C. Steele and his wife's house. She was a beautiful master gardener and her master gardener skills live on on this property. That is the large art studio. And that is the small.
stones that balance this house. These are the stones that balance this house. I mean, how old school is that? It's literally on some stones. You know what I'm saying? And with this economy, that's still going to be 1200 a month, only. What, oh what, is the mystery read of the day here in this enchanted land? Oh, okay, this is not a children's book. So I don't want it. Just kidding. <laughs> so this is my room. Which, by the way, I got this room because my kids and my family were supposed to be coming with me today. They were supposed to be here with me this whole week. So I went ahead and asked the company to upgrade me and booyakasha, they did. Famous TC Steel painting. This is the famous TC Steel under whom this entire historical site is named after. This is his house. And he painted some of Indiana's most beautiful landscapes of his time. He was one of the greatest landscape painters of his time.